Hey everybody, welcome back to Sid's Club. Today we are going to do a fun little art project for spring season. If you joined us back in the winter when we first started talking about seasons, we did a little art project and we did a winter tree. So I thought for spring season, it would be fun to do a spring tree. So today what we're gonna do is we are going to make our very own fingerprint cherry blossom tree. Now, if you're not familiar with what a cherry blossom tree looks like, this is what it looks like right here. Okay, so all you need for this project is a piece of paper, a pencil or a marker to um, draw out your tree, and then we're gonna need some paint and our fingertips. Now, the, the flowers on a cherry blossom are different shades of pink. So I have sort of a darker shade of pink, sort of a mauve -y color. I have a very sort of bubblegummy pink, and then I have some white. I'm just gonna put these out on the paper plate and we're gonna get started. Okay, first thing we have to do is we have to sketch out our tree. Now I'm just gonna use a black marker because the trunk of a cherry blossom is, is a really deep dark color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a black marker and I'm just going to quickly kind of sketch out what I think the trunk of the tree would look like. Now, Okay, there is my tree. As you can see, it's not perfect. It's a quick sketch. And that's really all you need because the fun part is using your fingertips to make the flowers and the cherry blossom come to life. So let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna mix some of this darker color with a little bit of the white. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use more than just one finger and I'm gonna do this kind of all at once. So I'm gonna get some of the darker color on that one, some of that in-between color I just mixed, some of that bubble gum light, and maybe even a little splash of white. And we're just gonna have some fun with this. We're just gonna go to town putting our fingerprints all over this tree. And as you can see, I'm getting my paints all mixed together in there and that's okay. It creates a lot of really cool different shades of pink for your tree. All right, I think I am done. I'll let you guys take a look. Here is my cherry blossom tree. What do you guys think? I hope that you will give this a try. And if you do, please send us your picture so we can see your cherry blossom tree. Thanks for joining us and I will see you next week. Bye guys.